What is up, everyone? It is Diecast Buffet here again. Today we have a 2024 Brad Keselowski Castrol, 125 years moving forward Ford Mustang. No, I don't come up with the names of these cars, but that is the diecast we have here in the studio. It is really cool. Let's go ahead and check it out. All right, folks, right out of the good old box. Welcome to today's diecast video. And I'm not kidding. This is literally called Castro, 125 years moving forward Ford Mustang. I'm, I'm not kidding. You can see the label there. Oh, by the way, there's only 288 produced of this in the die cast chassis line. You want the plastic chassis edition. You might be waking, uh, waiting till early December from what I see with the shipment report. So uh, let's jump into today's die cast review. So I, I think this car ran at Coda. And the reason why, well, clearly there's a windshield wiper. And there's no NASCAR Salutes logos, which is something they do for May, June, and maybe a little bit of July. Uh, that's the only road course uh, before then, so I'd imagine this ran at Coda. It could be off by a country mile, but uh, regardless. Very, very clean-looking paint scheme. The Castro cars are quietly one of my favorite RFK pieces because I've always liked the Castro rally cars, you know, rally racing, a lot of history there. And to see that in NASCAR... Uh, I was uh, really a fan of that when, when they started in, I think, 2020. You got Keselowski on the front windscreen. You got Castro, 125 years moving forward. Uh, cool little uh, road thing right there. That's, that's a nice little touch. Now, another reason why I think this is Coda, and I think this probably guarantees it, is, well, you have three different Castro logos, which means this was before Ford put their uh, logo right there in the middle once again. You got that beautiful dark horse Front end to these new Ford Mustangs. Fantastic. I love the new uh, Ford diecast mold. It, you know, they could have screwed it up, right? They could have really botched it, but they didn't. I am glad they took the time to get it right. It took them forever to get it out, uh, but I'm glad they got it right. That that looks really, really cool. I love how low the front end is. I mean, it, it, like seriously, look at the front of the car. Look what the wheels are. I mean, there's like one one thousandth of an inch clearance between the bottom of the wheel and this little canard right here on the splitter. And what's crazy is the die cast actually rolls just fine. So, I mean, the clearance margin is just, I mean, we're literally talking like microscopic, like fractions of an inch. Fabulous uh, job on the construction that uh, Lionel did. Got the number six right there, Sunoco, Sunoco, RFK. Now, the paint scheme pattern is very clean very simplistic you have obviously the normal gloss white paint job but there's a very subtle green and red stripe uh gradient around the car and it definitely gives me christmas vibes because of that number yes that is a chrome number with green and when i see that i think of like uh, christmas ornaments you know like the what do you call it? the little metallic green you know ornaments and stuff that's what it reminds me of fabulous looking car Got Goodyear right there. Cup Series, Brad Kozlowski, Build Submarines, Solomon Plumbing there. Castro, 125 years forward. Beautiful paint scheme. I love these RFK cars. Now, I'm curious what this says right here on the left side panel. I, I'm going to try to zoom in as much as I can. Bear with me. We'll try to get it to focus. It says Roush Fenway Kozlowski Racing. I love that. That is so cool how Roush does that with their paint schemes. Uh, this little three uh, little stripe thing, if I can get something to show what I'm talking about. This area right here, that little three little stripe area. And then they actually put the team name there. I love that. I think that's a really clever way. Like MWR, what was their signature? Chrome wheels. You know, that, that was just something they were known for. The DEI, DEI cars, they always had that. Uh, they had a similar thing. Then you look at maybe some of the modern teams. Well, Penske, for many, many years, they had the, the scallops designs. That was kind of universal on a lot of their sponsors. So, it's cool how the teams will come up with their own little thing. Got Fast and All right there. American Ethanol. Go to the back of the die cast. Got Castrol there. Consumer Cellular, number six. Go to the right side of the die cast. If you're interested in picking up this car, uh, go ahead and pick it up today in the die cast chassis line. They also have another Brad Kozlowski die cast. You're going to like this. Check this one out. I had no idea this was getting made, but the Coca-Cola 600 paint scheme. 
the Build Submarines Patriotic Car. Oh my goodness, this car, if you haven't checked out the, the diecast review I did on it, maybe you're on the fence, maybe you, you don't know how cool this car looks, check it out, it will be worth your time. This is quietly one of the best patriotic cars I think possibly ever made. And then if maybe you're just curious and see what else came out recently. Uh, the new Eric Jones die cast there. Uh, you want some more? We got two other die casts going to show. Alex Bowman, Darlington Throwback, the Dollar Tree, John Hunter Nemechek. Great new pieces over there at Circle B Diecast. If you're interested, guys, feel free to use that promo code when you're at checkout. Hey, who doesn't like saving money? It's the holiday time. Who doesn't want to, you know, save a little bit of money? Get some more die casts. So make sure you use code Diecast Buffet at checkout. Naturally, the roof numbers don't have chrome, so it just has the standard uh, pool table green. That's the color I would give it, and I, I think it looks cool. I like pool tables. Uh, shout out to GTA 4. Got a uh, Castrol right there. Castrol, 125 years moving forward once again. This is quietly one of the best Castrol paint schemes. I don't know why, but that green number, it just sets it off. Awesome looking die cast. And then Brad Kozlowski, of course, won in that Castrol throwback at Darlington, which that paint scheme, I, I think they're going to be making it in 164. I hope they are. Could be one of the best looking race wins ever for Brad Kozlowski. In all honesty, it could be one of the best ones ever. Darlington throwback, his first win in years. Castrol's first cup win. I mean, just like... Actually, no, that's their second cup win because they won with Chris Buescher last year. But... It, ha it has everything. That is all for now, guys. Thank you all so much for watching the video. Hope you're having a blessed one. Uh, before you click off the video, you can give it a thumbs up. You don't have to. Or maybe you can give it a thumbs thumbs down. You, you No? Okay, thank you. I, I appreciate you not giving it a thumbs down. <laughs> I'm kidding, guys. I'm a little bit dorky on this channel. That's all for now. Diecast Buffet. Signing off. Signing off.